ceremony dedicated to those who lost their lives in the 9-11 attacks. The College of the Ozarks is hosting a memorial ceremony at its campus later on this morning. Dr. Lauren M. Lundstrom will be the guest speaker for the event. Dr. Lundstrom was in the Pentagon at the time of the attack. We have Color 10's Joshua Panetta live at the Lest We Forget 9-11 Memorial this morning. That's a College of the Ozarks. And Josh, this memorial will serve as an opportunity for students to learn more about the attacks because a lot of these students weren't even born yet. That's right, Jesse and Angela. Carissa Jefferson is a sophomore here at the CFO, and she comes from a long line of firefighters and her family. Now, while she wasn't born during 9-11, she's made it a priority to learn more about the tragic day because she knows, she understands when a firefighter goes on call, there's always a possibility for the worst. I know that they go to work every day. Um, sometimes anticipating the worst because they don't know what they're going to encounter that day but they're always willing to drop whatever it is that they're doing to take part in fighting for someone else, um, which really goes to show like a firefighter's heart. Jefferson will be one of the hundreds in attendance for the memorial ceremony, which starts at 9 a.m. Officials tell me gates will close at 8.50 so they can begin the ceremony right away. There will be plenty of parking available around campus for the public to attend. And today's guest speaker for the memorial is retired U.S. Air Force Lieutenant Colonel Dr. Lauren Lundstrom. One of Dr. Lauren Str uh, Lundstrom's many responsibilities in the Air Force was dealing with terrorism. So when he first received word that one of the Twin Towers had been hit and terrorism might have been involved, he had a feeling that the Pentagon was next. And I uh, went back to my meeting and I kind of remember thinking, you know, um, well, I wonder, and seriously, I wonder what would happen if a plane hit the Pentagon. Uh, probably nothing. You know, it's, it's a huge building made out of concrete. What, what would happen? Um, so it was, I dismissed that. And then uh, it wasn't much longer after that than we, we got hit. Coming up later in the show, hear more from Dr. Lundstrom about why it's so important to not forget about what happened on 9-11 and why it's so important to teach our youth about that day. Reporting from the College of the Ozarks, I'm Joshua Pineda, Color 10 News.